Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to be counting down the top 10 Charlize Theron movies of all time. Charlize Theron is an incredibly talented actress, known for her versatility and ability to take on a wide range of roles. From action-packed blockbusters to thought-provoking dramas, she has truly done it all. So, without further ado, let's dive into our list of the top 10 Charlize Theron movies. Starting off our list at number 10, we have The Old Guard. This production follows Andy, Booker, Joe, Nikki, and Niall, a small group of mercenaries with an odd quirk. They are immortal, and their wounds self-heal. The team hides their trail to survive, and spends their days battling different enemies to protect society. However, things get complicated when unknown forces uncover their secret, and set out on a mission to capture them to replicate and profit from their powers. An upcoming sequel to this production is in the works, with the lead actors reprising their roles under Victoria Mahoney's direction. I lead a group of soldiers. Fighters. Like you. With an extremely rare skill set. What do you mean? Coming in at number 9 is Long Shot. 2019 marked the release of Long Shot, a film by Jonathan Levinet, in spite of earning rave reviews, failed to become a box office hit. It stars Theron and Seth Rogen alongside O'Shea Jackson Jr., Andy Serkis, June Diane Raphael, Bob Odenkirk, and Alexander Skarsgård. This romantic comedy follows Fred Flarsky, a journalist with a knack for getting in trouble, who has just quit his job and runs into Charlotte, his childhood nanny. This woman, who was also his secret crush, grew up to become a major political figure that is running for president. The connection between them is immediate, so Charlotte decides to hire Fred as a political speechwriter, a deal that feeds the fire of an intense and unexpected romance. He wants to follow me around the world and hope I have five minutes to be affectionate. Yeah. Next up at number 8, we have North Country. North Country isn't the kind of movie you rewatch over and over, but it's one that sticks with you. Daring gives a powerful performance as Josie Amaze, a survivor of domestic abuse who takes a job at an iron mine in northern Minnesota. Along with her female colleagues, she's subjected to sexual harassment and repeated humiliation by her male co-workers including her old high school boyfriend Bobby, Jeremy Renner, who sexually assaults her at work. When no one takes her concern seriously, and she's asked to resign, a devastated Josie hires a lawyer to help her file a lawsuit against the company. She's the only woman willing to speak up, though that doesn't deter her one bit. She's willing to go it alone, because someone has to say something. What's this got to do with the girl laying hands on Sherry like that? Are you hearing a word of what I'm saying? Taking the number seven spot is Atomic Blonde. In Atomic Blonde, Theron plays Lorraine Broughton, a skilled high-level spy entrusted with the mission of finding a list of double agents taken from MI6 agent James Gascon before he was killed within days of the collapse of the Berlin Wall. She is assisted in this mission by David, a Berlin station chief providing all his expertise to put an end to the threat that stalks all agents. This 2017 film was David Leach's directorial debut, a filmmaker that previously worked as uncredited co-director and producer of John Wick. Joining Theron in the cast are James McAvoy, John Goodman, Till Schweiger and Andy Marson. A sequel to this production is currently in the works although no release date has yet been announced. You sent me into Hornet's Nest. Well, then you knew that, didn't you? At number six, we have Bombshell. Like her somewhat comparable turn in Monster, Theron once again disappears into the role of Fox News anchor Megyn Kelly, who whatever you might think of her, certainly didn't deserve to be sexually harassed at the liver-spotted hands of Roger Ailes, John Lithgow. 
Theron plays Kelly like a lone wolf. When Gretchen Carlson, Nicole Kidman, accuses Ailes publicly, many female staffers at Fox News come to his defense, yet Kelly offers no comment, leaving both Ailes and Carlson to twist in the wind, even though she was sexually harassed herself when she started at the network. You do understand I have to be above this, right? You know the entire country is talking about your period right now. <laughs> Moving on to number five, we have In the Valley of Elah. In the Valley of Ela is a 2007 production that quickly became one of the year's best. Written and directed by Paul Haggis, this film based on true events follows retired military investigator Hank as he searches for his son, a soldier who mysteriously vanished without a trace. In this challenging journey, the man enlists the help of Emily Sanders a detective who emerges as his main ally to face the authorities' hostility and the chance that his son's disappearance harbors dark secrets. Tommy Lee Jones and Theron star in this crime drama film alongside Susan Sarandon, Jonathan Tucker, James Franco, and Josh Brolin. Although it underperformed in theaters, In the Valley of Ela earned rave reviews upon its release. Every second we lose in this investigation. But didn't you just say that you would do whatever you were told? I think you know what the right thing to do is. Coming in at number four is Tully. Following the success of Young Adult, Reitman and Cody got back together for a third collaboration, bringing back Theron to lead the cast. Thus, in 2018, Tully was released, a dramatic comedy that also stars Mackenzie Davis, Ron Livingston, and Mark Duplass. Tully introduces Marlo, a struggling mom who has just had her third baby and is overwhelmed by the situation. Her husband works too much, and she spends all day taking care of her children, unable to get the rest she needs. To help her through this new stage, her brother hires her a night nanny, which is how Tully finds her way into the family home. As time goes by, these two women manage to overcome the initial awkwardness and strike up a beautiful friendship. Greg, please tell me you didn't hire me one of those people. You have a lot going on. Get over yourself. Call her. Taking the number three spot is Young Adult. In 2007, director Jason Reitman and writer Diablo Cody worked together on the hit comedy drama Juno, and four years later they teamed up again for a new project within the same genre, Young Adult. This 2011 production stars Theron alongside Patton Oswalt, Patrick Wilson, Elizabeth Reeser, and Colette Wolf. Young Adult follows Mavis, a recently divorced ghostwriter who goes back to the small town she grew up in to win back Buddy, her teenage boyfriend. Yet, this woman has not matured much over the years and is overwhelmed to discover that her crush has moved on with his life and is now married and has a baby. We were gonna have a little baby and a little naming party and a fun aquarium and all of that. At number two, we have Mad Max Fury Road. Theron created an instant icon in George Miller's crazy, operatically over-the-top action chase thriller Fantasia set in the post-apocalyptic desert a 21st century update of his Mad Max classic. Tom Hardy plays Max, fighting against the tyrannical warlord chieftain Immortan Joe. On his side is the dazzling Imperator Furiosa, the one-armed badass played with glittery eye panache by Theron, whose job is to lead raids, stealing gasoline, ammunition and other necessities. Furiosa always looks as if she has just walked away from, and perhaps caused, an explosion that has made her slightly smudgy-faced, and yet is always very glamorous and stylish. <laughs> and finally, taking the number one spot on our list monster, Theron gave the world an absolute barnstorming and indeed Oscar-winning performance in this gruesome true crime movie, Uglied Up to play the serial killer Aileen Wernos, who was executed for seven murders just one year before this film came out. 
Theron had clearly studied the real-life pornos from the two documentaries about her by Nick Broomfield and created an eerily clever, chilling impersonation of a young woman who had been forced by poverty into sex work and found that her talent was in killing her male clients. Theron's brown contact lenses create the glassly reptilian belligerent stare, and the flaky dull skin is fabricated with prosthetics. You don't know me! Okay, great, that's great. See, now I'm so sorry I didn't hire you before. So there you have it, our list of the top 10 Charlize Theron movies of all time. Whether you're a fan of action, drama, or thriller, there's something on this list for everyone. Let us know in the comments which Charlize Theron movie is your favorite. And be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.